Fourth of July weekend, that means friends, it means family, it means fireworks, and of course, it means food. That's really what that's that, the best that should part. be like yeah. the first part. <laughs> <laughs> what better way to celebrate than a barbecue? Ron Futel joins us from Wild Fit Barbecue in Sun City, where they're gearing up for a busy weekend. Is that the sauce, Ron? Yes. What do you think? We're going to try this in just, a, in just a moment here. Wait, you guys are doing sports back at the station while I'm doing barbecue out in the field? Hold on a second. You did a fine job, by the way, with all the sports stuff you guys just covered. Steve Cook does a fine job, certainly. Wild Fig here is the name of the place. What do we have here, Steve? So this is our, our Central Texas-style brisket. Uh, we use 100% USDA prime brisket out of a company called Brant in Brawley, California. Not the choice, the prime. Exactly, the USDA okay. prime. It's great stuff. Okay, no, and I want to show the wall back here, Chad. I know it's going to be a crazy turn, but tell me what this is about, Steve. So that's our veteran's wall. My partner, Daniel, is a uh, veteran, and shortly after we started this, he started what we call the American Soldier, or what he calls the American Soldiers Foundation of Nevada. A great organization, does a lot for the local veterans, you know, providing sources for food, housing, clothing, whatever they need. And kind of, you know, no, their, their motto is basically no veterans left behind. You know, great cause. Yeah, certainly. they do a really, really good job. They got a big gala coming up here in November, as a matter of fact. Okay, so let's see. Let's chop up the brisket here. What makes, uh, as you're doing that, what makes Wild Fig special, different, better? Um, our, our focus is, uh, you know, as I was telling your partner earlier, is uh, um, primarily what we do is we're kind of like focused on the meat. You know, we, we instead of just doing like barbecue from all over, because I mean we're in Vegas, we're in a melting pot, you know, but we focus really on on the meat itself. Um, so the true, truest barbecue that we recognize is the Carolina barbecue with being the pork and then the, the, the beef out of Texas. So we do a Central Texas style brisket, we do a Carolina style pork. Now we've kind of evolved because I love that the smoker that we have outside, the post oak, is a great flavor to the, the pork, but it's still more of a Carolina style the way we do it. All right, the post oak is, is the key. I'm going to try some of this brisket, okay? Can I, is it, is, am I ready? It's about to get gripped. Chad, what do you think? It looks. Here we go. Oh, that looks good. Okay. How many hours has this brisket been in? Um, these are little, so the Brawley product runs a little bit smaller, so it's been about 10, 12 hours. Now you got the hang. There you go. That is the that is the hang. It is hanging. We are hanging with brisket. So let me get you guys yeah. a couple of samples here. You try a couple of samples here. Is it too early in the morning for for barbecue? Uh, never too early for barbecue. <laughs> barbecue 24/7, baby. Oh, that is brisket is a tough meat, by the way. It might be one of the toughest. That, is, that ain't tough. That's super tender, very good. isn't that? That's very tender. Mm. And, the, and the whole key is that one, like I said, the USDA Prime and that post oak out there, that's what does the magic, really. You know? Because it's okay. primarily just a salt and pepper seasoning. Um, and that's it. It's just the brisket is the deal. I'm getting fat today. <laughs> you will definitely on this stuff here. <laughs> okay. It's a healthy fat, though. It's a healthy fat. Okay, so happy end of. Shouldn't eat with your mouth, talk with your mouth full, should you? Um, anyway, I am. Wild Fig is the name of the place here, up in Summerlin, Sun City, Summerlin. Sun City, Summerlin. Sort of, sort of tucked away a little bit. You got to work to find it, but it's well worth it. Check it out of here, Steve. Thank you very much. Happy Independence Day. Thank you very much, man. And happy right. Independence Day to you and the country. All, All right. right. Thank you. Thanks, wow. man. Appreciate it. Uh, we're, we're bringing some back, John and Heather. We're bringing some back for John and Heather. Is that okay? Well, I thought we were doing the fire. No. What about Sherry and Nate? John and Heather with what about Sherry and Nate? Hey, Ken. Ron, what about Sherry and Nate? Nate got his at Roadkill. Sherry oh, okay. might get I'll, some later. Right. We've got oh, some places to go to. Oh, we're There's sharing the love. There's barbecue places here in town. Okay. Thanks, okay. I appreciate it. I'll hold you to it, Ron. Uh, you know, one of the most uh, enjoyable things about Independence Day in the weekend is you know, the barbecuing yourself, right? right? On the back of the grill. Oh, yeah. Or you can let the pros do it. Let the pros do the fireworks, let the yeah. pros do the barbecue. You could say you're a good barbecue master, but nobody's as good as these guys. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you, go to, you go to like Roadkill or the play, or you go there, you buy it. You right. stash it in the grill itself, and then you just pull oh, it out as if you've you cooked it yourself. Oh, the old switcheroo. Mm -hmm. Got it. Well, this is right in my uh, backyard, so oh, hey. I might just do and a swing said, by. And you said Texas, mm. so I think I was sure confused. you got to try Texas that. Texas style, North Carolina, yeah. Carolina style, and they get their meat from California. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's in Sun City. <laughs>